everyone welcome back today we're going to start with code with me activity 7 which we're going to discuss the confirm method and a little bit more advanced if statement so the first thing is confirm confirm is kind of in the same family with the alert and prompt uh, the confirm method will pop up a window with a message and it will have an OK and a cancel button if you want to go ahead and code along with me Let's open up code pen and make sure to first change your settings. Click on the behavior tab so that you can uncheck autosave and enable. That way, as you're typing, this confirmation window won't try and pop up and, and interrupt you. Uh, make sure to save it. I'm just calling it JS Code Challenge 7. Okay, so I have my confirm window. I'm going to go ahead and click run. And here we have it. Are you sure you want to do this? If you press OK, the program will receive a true value. If you press cancel, the program will receive a false value. Since we don't have anything exciting happening be behind this confirm button, nothing is going to happen. Let's go ahead and take a look at a more complex if statement. So in our last episode, we looked at il if and else, which is basically an either or. So if you have two options, you can check with the comparison operator in that first condition, and then you can use the else so that if it doesn't meet that condition, it will move on to the next code block. Let's say you have a more complex um, process that you want to do and you don't want to use a switch statement some people don't like switch statements switch statements serve their purpose some people prefer an if else if else statement so this allows you to test for two conditions so let's say you want somebody you know maybe you want to have an age verification system are you old enough to you know to be on my website are you old enough to play you know, to, for me to collect information on, etc. Um, so let's say we have different conditions based on someone's age. So we could use an if, else, if, or else. Uh, a lot of times people like to put validation on the input. So let's take an example of validating the input and running a more complex if statement. All right, so let's say we have an age verification. Okay, we're going to Go ahead and keep our confirm in here and then say if is N A N. OK, make sure you type this with a capital N, a lowercase a and a capital N. And what this is, this is a special JavaScript function. There are many of them that you will learn. You don't have to memorize them all. But this is is not a number. OK, so is this not a number? So we're asking somebody to input a number, which we're going to need to put a prompt in for. So if age is not a number, we're going to go ahead and alert not a valid input. And I'm not typing well today. OK, and then we're going to come down to our else if. So now, We've determined that this is a valid number. So I'm going to say if age is less than 13. And my curly brackets for my code block alert. Sorry, you are not old enough to play our game. OK, and then we're going to put an else. So, so basically, we know that it's a number. We know that that their age is over 13. So we're going to go ahead and alert. Welcome to our game. OK, so let's go ahead and prompt for the age. Oops. OK, so or prompting for age, how old are you? OK, so we have our confirmation window. Again, that really isn't going to do anything. We could technically put this whole thing inside of an if statement. So we can say if confirm equals true. Wait, not sorry. OK, 
Okay, so if my answer equals true, then we can do this whole program. Okay, and this is where we get lots of little code blocks. So you're going to want to put some tabs in here so that you can you can uh, see this a little bit easier. Else, so this is these people do not want to play. We're going to say alert. Come back soon. Okay, so if my answer equals true, we're going to go through this whole process and we're going to prompt how old are you? We're going to check to make sure that they are the correct age and welcome to our game. Okay, we don't have our game really built yet, but this will this will be our little uh, intro. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. Are you sure you want to do this? So first I'm going to click cancel and make sure that my my one option work so come back soon okay um, now let's try and run the actual program are you sure you want to do this okay how old are you so i'm going to put in 12. i always want to test for every single input sorry you're not old enough to play our game okay let me try again now that i know you got an age check on here i'm going to try 16. how old are you 16 welcome to our game okay so that is an example of how you can use if statements, not only that, but how you can use multiple if statements to control the structure of your program and to kind of bring people to different branches of your program that you might want to use. Okay, for our next code challenge, this one gets a little more com complex, but I think you can handle it. So using the confirm method, ask the website visitor if they would like to begin playing. Okay, so that's similar to what we did in this example. If they respond with okay, true, then start the game by asking a choose your own adventure question with a simple answer. Okay, so you can, you can kind of output a little bit of text, set up the scenario, and then ask them a question. You, Something like, you enter a dark house, you see a light on ahead. Do you decide to go forward with an F? Say hello, is anyone there with an S? Or turn around and run with an R? It came up a little weird. Uh, write an if, else, if, it, an if, else, if, an else statement with an alert for each option. Okay, so I want you to go, to think through on this in the, on this program and have them enter just F, S, or R. Okay, if they don't enter one of those, then you can um, say that that wasn't a valid entry. If they respond with cancel to the confirm, then say maybe next time. Okay, so take what we've done in this video and modify it to, instead of asking how old are you, to, to ask a question about a choose your own adventure. Okay, good luck with that. You go ahead and push pause and I'll come back and give you my solution in a second. Okay, everyone, let's take a look at my solution. Hopefully your solution is something like this. Uh, we have a lot of fun with this activity in class and I'd like you to continue working on it and kind of turning it into something with multiple questions in the future because I think this would be kind of fun old school uh, text gaming here okay so I have very similar to our example I've got would you like to play a choose your own adventure game and then if my answer is true then we're going to go ahead and uh, do a prompt for a variable called question one. So you, you enter a dark house, you see a light on ahead, you decide to go forward, scream, or run away. Now notice that I have these capital F's, capital S, and capital R. So I'm hoping, and I, I could technically give the user more information here, um, that they'll understand that they need to type in a capital F, S, or R. If you type in a lowercase r, my program isn't going to catch up on that. And I could technically modify this to check to see if it equals uppercase F or lowercase F. But for the purpose of this, I just kind of wanted to walk you through 
how to do this in a simple fashion. So here we go with my first if statement. So if question one, double equal signs because I'm doing a comparison and I need to put the comparison between parentheses. So if it equals capital F, I'm going to alert this um, output and it, else if question one equals s for scream i'm going to alert i'm going to alert this scenario and then notice i even have an additional else if so else if they choose r here is my third option and then i have an else so if it doesn't match exactly I get an, uh, I'll send an alert that says not a valid input. So if you can take a look at this and think back to our switch statement that we covered, this is very similar to the switch statement. Again, people have their preferences for whether they like to use the else if or the switch. Um, and there's a lot of discussion online about which is better if you choose to get into that conversation and learn more. So again, go ahead and spend some time playing around with this and and put in a couple extra questions and see see what happens. Uh, see if you can kind of get through this choose your own adventure and have some fun with it. It's a great way to learn how to code and to practice your your skills. Thanks a lot. Um, just a reminder, if you like my beginning JavaScript code challenges and you want to follow up with activity we're doing in my class, please like the video and subscribe to my channel to get more fun activities like this. Bye.